Greetings, my friend. I'm Frody, and my passion here at the Self Help School, which I've decided to call my brand from now on, is helping you grow your life and your character through empowering book summaries. And today we will look at some of the best ideas from The Miracle of Right Thought by Orison Sweat Martin. <laughs> Orson Smith Martin was a motivational writer and the founder of Success Magazine back in the 20th century. He is, I've read uh, several of his books, for example, He Can Who Thinks He Can, An Iron Will, Making Life a Masterpiece, and then The Miracle of Right Thought, and I'm also working on Pushing to the Front, a big book he has written also. And uh, what fascinates me is that Every single book he writes seems to be just one long quote of very inspiring phrases and ideas that we can apply to our lives very practically and energetically. In 10 words or less, The Miracle of Right Thought states that how you think determines how you live, so think right. And uh, the three best ideas we're going to look at today are optimism, visions and ideals, and attitude. If you want to read about these ideas in a blog post instead, you can check out the link that I have in the description. The first big idea is optimism. And what is optimism? It means that you have faith in your future, that you believe that things are going to turn out right and not wrong, that you can always get out of the difficult situations that might arise. For example, if you are standing in a poor place with your health right now, or you are feeling lonely in your relationships, or your career is not going very well, or you have uh, too little money you feel, it's very important that you decide now to have faith and hope in your future that no matter how bad things are right now, there will always be someone who had been in worse situations and then gotten out of them. And an undefiant optimism is not something people are just born with. Everyone is born with a perhaps a different degrees of optimism, but it must always be something that is trained by those who possess it in large amounts. So therefore, optimism is a decision, not a gene. The second big idea is visions and ideals. You will become the product of the dominant thoughts and images you keep in your mind at any given time. Therefore, it's very wise of you if you choose exactly what you want to achieve in the world, you create a clear image of how that reality would actually look like, and then you see those images and act on them all the time, every single day, until they have become a reality. This is one of the core ideas that uh, Orison stresses again and again throughout all his books. You must see your desired reality, see your ideal life, and then strive to create it. And one of the ways in which I visualize my ideals is that every single night before going to sleep, I pick out three of the most important life goals that I have, and then I imagine exactly what my life would look like if those were already true. And then I can imagine uh, the pathway there, like what are the hard things that I need to do to realize those ideals. I do that every single night, and this is important because then your subconscious will work and grind on your goals and ideals all night long. And then you might wake up with new ideas and inspiration for what you can do to achieve those goals even faster. So to achieve your goals faster, visualize them every single day. Our third big idea is attitude. Attitude is what's gonna determine what you experience and what you accomplish in life. What you do is not as important as how you do it. If you go about your work with a sense of drudgery and like some work tasks has been pushed on you that you don't really want to do, then you're gonna feel drained and tired. If you instead go about your tasks with a sense of enthusiasm and resourcefulness about solving the problems in the best possible way and you're going to create a result of excellence, then you become much more inspired to complete that same task. What you do is similar, but how you do it is different. When I go to the gym and exercise my strength, I see a lot of people doing the same things. They are lifting weights to become stronger, but the attitude in which they do it is very different. Some people you can see are very focused and resolute about getting stronger in some specific way and achieving their goals. Others are just like 
they, it seems like they're just been dragged there by some outside expectations of how their body should look or what they should be doing with their time. And they're more going through it with a sense of drudgery and it seems much more boring for them. So remember to bring a sense of enthusiasm and spirit to the task at hand, no matter what it might be. Make the task yours. To consolidate what we learned today in our memory, we're going to look at a quick summary. So the first big idea was optimism. Believe in your future that things are going to turn out well. That's a decision, not a gene. Second, we looked at visions and ideals. If you want to achieve your goals faster, then get very clear on them and visualize them every single day. And visualize especially the hard things you need to do to accomplish them. And thirdly, attitude. What you do is not as important as how you do it. Bring a sense of enthusiasm to every single task and make the task yours instead of something that's pushed on you, even though it might be. If you found some of the ideas in this book summary empowering, then I would be very grateful if you liked this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out some other related videos that you also might like. If you're a self-help junkie just like me who also wants to grow your life and your character, then check out my blog where I constantly release new book summaries featuring one-page PDFs, mind maps, and infographics of the ideas that I share. And it's all for free. And finally, our question of the day, what is your favorite book of all time? Tell me in the comment section below because I'd love to see them from you. And I will see you in the next video.